Hey everyone, hope all is going well. This is my first video during the coronavirus craziness, but glad to show that it is something that I'm happy to share. So here you can see the bee house is now installed on a tree in my backyard. It's about eight feet off the ground facing east to southeast so the bees can get the morning sun. You can see the bottom of the wood trays are the larger holes and those are for the mason bees. Uh, the trays on top of that are smaller and they are for the leafcutter bees. And then I have cardboard tubes filling in the spaces around it to kind of hold the wood trays in place. And just in case something gets jostled, nothing will fall out. These tubes do have inserts, so when a tube does get filled uh, and capped with mud, I can actually remove the insert and replace it, or just let the bee go and fill in that cardboard tube as well. About a month ago, I actually had checked some of the mud cap tubes I had harvested from the fall and actually found some of the bees had already hatched. We'd had a very warm winter, so I immediately put them outside along with the bee house. Uh, the pictures that I'm showing will show the mason bees who, uh, who hatch a couple weeks earlier before the females. You can tell it's a male because uh, they will be smaller than the female, and also they'll have a white mustache. Uh, males do not have stingers, so actually holding one was a really neat experience. As you can see, I have two female bees working hard, one utilizing a cardboard tube and one utilizing the wood blocks. So these types of bees are called mason bees, one of the types of solitary or native bees, uh, likely in your environment. They'll go out and gather pollen, um, and then scrape the pollen off into one of these uh, little houses, one of these tubes. When they've made a pollen block large enough for their young, they'll lay an egg and then uh, create a cell by making a wall uh, made out of mud, using mud sort of like a mason does, why these are called mason bees. These bees, being solitary bees, are very calm, and so I found this to be a great learning opportunity as, as well as a way to face uh, a fear if you are afraid of bees. Uh, once again, the males don't have stingers and the females are very calm. They are their own queen, and so they don't have a hive to protect or anything like that. So, so long as you leave them alone and aren't hurting them, they'll leave you alone. So yeah, as, as you can see, my camera goes from six inches to about a foot away, and you can see the bees going in and out, and it has uh, felt very comfortable the whole time. Up top you can see a new edition I recently purchased from crownbees.com. It's, it's called a something like a cocoon tray insert. The triangle of wood uh, fits uh, the upper area very well. And on the back side of it is a little plastic tray where I can put all my cocoons that I, uh, that I was able to harvest recently. I put them all in there. Uh, when the bees hatch, they'll actually uh, climb out, cr uh, crawl up the wood, and then fly out the hole. And so that is a way how they can be protected uh, from predators and the elements. So anyway, that's a quick video showing the placement of my mason bee house and the first bees I found working. Uh, hopefully I'll have a follow-up video sometime soon showing some of the holes being plugged up with mud. But until then, that's all for now. Goodbye, God bless, I'll see you soon.